You know the day destroys the night. All right, my name is Bill Perez from SE4. I'm going to explain how we hooked up our VFD through PLC to run a motor. We've got three phase coming in, run through an intellect disconnect. Coming now we got lines one, two, and three hooked up. One, two, and three coming in on our VFD. It's also grounded with our motor. Then uh, we got our stop. We got 24 volts coming out. Runs through a normally closed push button to our stop. Then we got a T1, T2, and T3 coming out. Going to our motor, which is wired for low voltage. On this particular motor, it's 230 volts. And now what the VFD is gonna do is gonna lower the motor speed by lowering the frequency, which will also lower the voltage, which you have to do because of uh, inductive reactors. So let me uh, start it up. So now we gotta turn it on for this, and then we have to activate our PLC to seem like a part in there. There we go. So now it's on voltage. We're at steady state, 230 volts, 60 hertz. And then it'll drop down to roughly 12 volts to never come through the stops. Now to stop this motor, we got the top wired in, land it, and it'll post to a stop. Now, PLC controls the VFD. It has analog output power, 10 volts, DC, which runs up, we've got our common, and our 10 volt in, the 10 volt input, which is, sure. 14 and 13 on our terminal block. That's about it. All right, my name is John Nasley. I'm doing the drive for our project. As Bill was saying, it ramps up proportional from our frequency to our voltage, goes to 230. Uh, what we basically did is use this smart setup. We have our 230 volts, 60 hertz. We rated it for 2.7 amps. Our frequency is at 60. We have our storage source is zero. Up here, we used our keypad, so we hit start. So what we did is we hooked a start switch up, which on the diagram is just 11 and 1, 24 volt sourcing to our stop. Now you can change your what you're looking at based on your drive. So 4 is voltage, 3 is amps. Frequency. All right, so another thing we have to do is change our speed reference to 0 to 10 volt input, which is 2 on P38, and then we had to, uh, for our P39 or our P40, which are Excel and D cell, we had to put it at 0 so it didn't conflict with our PLC program. That's for a 0 10 volt. Zero, that's our cell. And 40 is our D cell. Minimum is 0.1.